And what 
will we get? Here we can see if we enter positive waveform, then across RL we will get positive waveform. That means similar as we entered in input. So our output will be positive half cycle because current always flowing from upper to lower plus to minus formation. So here D3 and D4 works in reverse path. So let us discuss about its waveform. Here we can see negative half cycle. If we enter negative half cycle at the input side, then what happens? Always current flowing from plus to minus. So in this direction current is flowing. Now diode D3 direction of flow of current. So it becomes forward bias. So we can say it is equivalent to the closed circuit. So like this and it passing through the low resistance RL. And across this low resistance we will get our output. Now current is passing through this terminal and here we can say this is the junction where current is divided. If current flowing from D2, D4 side that means it becomes closed loop. If current flowing from D2 side then it becomes open circuit because it works in reverse fire. That's the reason. So, it will be open circuited D2 and D4 is closed loop, closed circuited. So current is flowing from plus to minus like this. So in this circuit diagram, for we can say negative half cycle, D1 and D2 become reverse biased because current flowing from cathode to anode, that's why it becomes reverse biased and it becomes open circuited, whereas D3 and D4 works in forward bias and it becomes closed circuit. So now we are going to discuss about output voltage. If we enter negative half cycle, but here we will measure our output across the low resistance RM. So current flowing from plus to minus, that means upper to lower side. This is the same manner as we discussed in positive half cycle. So that's why our output will be positive. So this will be positive. Here we can see this is the positive half cycle waveform. If we enter here positive waveform, then we will get positive waveform at the output side 0 to 5. So this is the positive half cycle waveform. Now for negative half cycle waveform, if we enter negative portion pi to 2 pi here, this is the pi to 2 pi, we will get positive waveform because it is the same as the we discussed in positive half cycle. So current always going from plus to minus. So here we will get positive. Again, if we enter negative half cycle, then we will get positive at the output side. So this is the waveform for negative half cycle. Now let us discuss about final waveform. If we enter positive waveform and negative waveform both together, then output current will be like this. For positive, we will get positive, negative we will get positive as well. Here we can see, but its amplitude is lower than the voltage. Why? Because here I is equal to V by R. Now here I is equal to Vm by Rs plus twice Rf plus Rs. That means here Rs means reverse resistance, Rf that means forward resistance, why here twice? Because at a time two diodes work in forward bias. So twice RF plus RS. That means load resistance. That's why 
here we can see its amplitude is lower than the voltage. Now, talking about voltage, output voltage, so we will get like this output voltage, positive, positive, and here we can see for first positive at that time now D1 and D2 is on whereas D3 and D4 is off. For second half cycle D3 and D4 is on whereas D1 and D2 is off. Similarly we can see here and for last half cycle now D3 and D4 is on and D1 and D2 is off. So this is the overall output for the bridge rectifier. So this is the bridge rectifier. Here we can see this is the bridge rectifier with filter. Why we are using here filter? Because we need pure DC voltage at the output side. So rectification is the another level. Then after we have to do filtration process for getting pure DC voltage. That's why we are using filter. There are different types of filters are available. Here we can see bridge rectifier with filter and there is one change across RL, across load register, we have to connect one capacitor. With this capacitor, we will get filtration process with our output side. So if we enter this input at the step down transformer, current flowing from D1 and D2 and we will get output as we discussed earlier. But here capacitor place. So that means capacitor work as a charging and discharging. First capacitor is charged, then after it becomes discharged. So we can see here one line that indicates capacitor is discharging, then after upper line shows capacitor is charging. When capacitor is charging until the voltage is higher than the input voltage. At that duration capacitor is charging. So here we can see we are going to use step down transformer, diode D1, D2, D3 and D4, load register and main component for the filter is capacitor. So here we can see this is the waveform and in this waveform we can see charging of capacitor and discharging of capacitor. Capacitor is discharging until the input voltage becomes equal to capacitor charging voltage. Then after again capacitor becomes charged and again it becomes discharged. So it shows this type of waveform that means we will get filtration of our bridge rectifier output then after we will get pure DC voltage at the end of output side. So that's all for today's lecture. So if you have any queries related to bridge rectifier and filter process then you can mail me on this email address. Till then keep learning, keep reading. See you soon in coming lecture. Thank you.